everybody welcome back to the success channel my name is Ronald and I'm a new skin affiliate marketer you can find me on Facebook under new skin affiliate marketing and you can see below the, this uh, in the comment box you can find some more information about new skin and how to join my team and in other videos also all right I'm gonna read for you from the book of Napoleon Hill think and grow rich in order to grow rich you have to start thinking about growing rich and this is a process that you have to do like daily or three four times a week keep on reading and um, gathering information and trying to stay motivated because that's not really easy you know most people start very fast one or two months and then they have a downfall and it's better to like stay on one line and go up slowly you know and eventually you will make it so let me start the where and how one may find opportunities to accumulate riches now that we have analyzed the principles by which riches may be accumulated we naturally ask where may one find favorable opportunities to apply these principles very well let us take inventory and see what the United States of America offered the person seeking riches, great and small. To begin with, let us remember, all of us, that we live in a country where every law-abiding citizen enjoys freedom of thought and freedom of deed, unequaled anywhere in the world. Most of us have never taken inventory of the advantages of this freedom. We have never compared our unlimited freedom with the curtailed freedom in other countries. Here we have freedom of thought, freedom in the choice and enjoyment of education, freedom in religion, freedom in politics, freedom in the choice of a business, profession or occupation, freedom to accumulate and own without molestation, all the property we can accumulate, freedom to choose our place of res residence, freedom in marriage, freedom through equal opportunity to all races, freedom of travel from one state to another, freedom in our choice of foods, and freedom to aim for any station in life for which we have prepared ourselves, even for the presidency of the United States. We have other forms of freedom. But this list will give a bird's eye view of the most important which constitute opportunity of the highest order this advantage of freedom is all the more conspicuous because the united states is the only country guaranteeing to every citizen whether native born or naturalized so broad and varied a list of freedom next let us recount some of the blessings which our widespread freedom has placed within our hands Take the average American family, for example, meaning the family of average income, and sum up the benefits available to every member of the family in this land of opportunity and plenty. Of A. Food. Next to freedom of thought and deed comes food, clothing and shelter, the three basic necessities of life. Because of our universal freedom, the average American family has available at its very door the choicest selection of food to be found anywhere in the world and at prices within its financial range. A family of who? Two, living in the heart of Times Square district of New York, far removed from the source of production of foods, took careful inventory of the cost of a simple breakfast. With this astonishing result, articles of food cost at the breakfast table, grapefruit juice from Florida, rippled wheat breakfast food, Kansas farm, tea from China, bananas from South America, toasted bread from Kansas farm, fresh country eggs from Utah, sugar from Cuba or Utah, butter and cream from New England. It is not very difficult to obtain food in a country where two people can have breakfast consisting of all they want or need for a dime apiece. Observe that this simple breakfast was gathered by some strange form of magic from China, South America, Utah, Kansas and the New England states and delivered on the breakfast table ready for consumption in the very heart of the most crowded city in America at a cost well within the means of the most humble laborer. 
the costs included all federal, state and city taxes. Here is a fact the politicians did not mention when they were crying out to the voters to throw their opponents out of the office because the people were being taxed to death. B. Shelter. This family lives in a comfortable apartment, heated by steam, lighted with electricity, with gas for cooking for all for $65 a month. In a smaller city or a more sparsely settled part of New York City, the same apartment could be had for as low as $20 a month. The toast they had for breakfast in the food estimate was toasted on the, an electric toaster, which cost about a few dollars. The apartment is cleaned with a vacuum sweeper that is run by electricity. Hot and cold water is available at all times in the kitchen and the bathroom. The food is kept cool in the refrigerator that is run by electricity. The wife curls her hair, washes her clothes and irons them with easily operated electrical equipment on power obtained by sticking a plug in the wall. The husband shaves with an electric shaver and they receive entertainment from all over the world, 24 hours a day, if they want it, without cost, by merely turning the dial of their radio. There are other conveniences in this apartment, but the foregoing list will give a fair idea of some of the concrete evidence of freedom we of America enjoy. Now this is neither political nor economic propaganda. See clothing. Anywhere in the United States, the woman of average clothing requirements can dress very comfortable and neatly for less than $200 a year. And the average man can dress for the same or less. Only the three basic necessities of food, clothing and shelter have been mentioned. The average American citizen has other privileges and advantages available in return for modest effort, not exceeding eight hours per day of labor. Among these is the privilege of automobile transportation with which one can go and come at will, at a very small cost. The average American has security of property rights not found in any other country in the world. He can place his surplus money in a bank with the assurance that his government will protect it and make good to him with the bank fail if the bank fails. If an American citizen wants to travel from one state to another, he needs to Pass, no passport, no one's permission. He may go when he pleases and return at will. Moreover, he may travel by train, private automobile, bus, airplane or ship, as his pocketbook permits. In Germany, Russia, Italy and most of the other European and Oriental countries, other people cannot travel with so much freedom and at so little cost. Well, thank you for watching this episode. I'll have to wrap it up. I have an appointment to make other videos today. Uh, I will continue next time with the miracle that has provided these blessings. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join my new skin team. See you next time.